Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. In the previous part of this video series on REST API operations in BAO 7.9, we saw how to use REST API to create and delete user account and roles, update user password, and assign user to roles in Remedy Single Sign-On. In this video, we'll see how to generate BAO authentication token and perform some repository resource management operations. Let's get started. Now let's see how we can generate authentication token for BAO specific REST operations. From the sidebar, I'll click the BAO CDP login operation. As you can see, this is the REST API login URL for BAO CDP. The type will be post. In the header section, we just need to provide the content type as JSON. And in the body, we need to provide the username and password which we are going to use in order to log into the BAO CDP. Click the send button. As you can see, the login is successful. Click on headers. And this is the authentication token that we need to reuse in the subsequent BAO REST calls. Next, let's see how to perform the logout operation. This is the logout URL of BAO REST API. The type will be post and under the header section, we need to paste the authentication token. Click the send button and you are successfully logged out. Next, let's see how we can perform resource management within the repository manager. The very first operation that we're going to perform is to upload a resource that is either an adapter or a module onto the repository manager. So this is the URL for the upload resource operation. As you can see from here, the operation will be post. In the header section, you need to provide the authentication token. You need to provide a resource author, a description and the comment. In the body section, you have to select the form data. The parameter name will be file. And from here, you can choose the resource that you want to upload. Let's try to upload this version of the adapter. Click open and hit the send button. The resource is now successfully uploaded. Let's validate. From the drop down menu, I'll select the adapters. This is the adapter that we are trying to upload version 2016.02. And this revision 2 is the one that we just attempted. Now, let's try to delete a resource from the repository. For this demonstration, I'll try to delete a module. Let's try to delete the autopilot AD utilities. This is the delete resource operation. The operation type is post. In the header section, we need to provide the authentication token. The content type will be application JSON. In the body, this is the format how you specify the resource that you want to delete. In this case, this is the module name and this is the version and the type is module. Let's click the send button. It says the resource has been successfully removed. Let's check. Let me refresh this page. Select modules. And as you can see, 
the autopilot AD utilities module has now been successfully deleted. I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video of the series, we'll see how to manage adapters and modules on the grid using the REST API.